<laughs> Question number five, Dr. Russell Norman. Order. Now look, order. I apologise to Dr. Russell Norman, but the noise will... Order. The house will settle down. This is absolutely disgraceful. Members of the public watching this will email me this afternoon about how disgusted they are by some of the behaviour. It's happened too often this week. I've had too many such communications this week. And I don't like that kind of reaction from the public. Now, Dr. Russell Norman, question number five. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, my question is to the Prime Minister and us. Does he agree with the statement ba made by the Honourable Bill English in relation to the release of Natasha Fuller's private details by his Social Development Minister that, quote, people who enter into public debate are welcome to do so and should provide their full information to the public. The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, yes. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Prime Minister agree with the Director of the Office of Human Rights Proceedings that Paula Bennett breached the Privacy Act when she released Natasha Fuller's private details without her permission? The Honourable Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, in fact, there has not been a finding that the Minister Paula Bennett breached the complainant's privacy. Just an agreement. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does that mean that he supports Paula Bennett's decision to reserve the right to release other people's private details without their consent in the future, quote unquote, depending on the circumstances, and is this now government policy? The Honourable Jerry Browning. On behalf of the Prime Minister, no. Supplementary. Dr Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Will the Prime Minister direct other ministers to follow the Privacy Act and not release private information without the consent of the people concerned. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, ministers do every day follow the provisions of the Privacy Act and many others as well. Supplementary. Norman. When Talani Lafo entered the public debate about the state of housing New Zealand homes, claiming hers was making her children sick, under what circumstances would he consider it appropriate for ministers of IRD, uh, social development or housing to access her personal details about herself and her family and make them public? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, the first expectation would be that the Minister investigated the circumstances and remedied, remedied the problem. Dr. Point Russell. of order. Point, Point of order, order. Dr. Russell. My, my question was: Under what circumstances would it be appropriate to release the information? The minister talked about what they should do in the first instance. He didn't address the question at all. I, I think the, the member's got a reasonable point there. I invite him to repeat his question, Dr. Russell Norman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. When Talani Lafo entered the public debate about the state of housing New Zealand homes, under what circumstances would the Prime Minister consider it appropriate for ministers to access her personal details and those of her family and make these details public? The Honourable Jerry Brownlee. Uh, Mr Speaker, that is a um, hypothetical question, and I'm, I, I'm not answering a hypothetical question. Dr Russell Norman. Supplementary. <clears throat> When sexual abuse survivors criticise government plans to cut back ACC for sensitive claims, under what circumstances would the Prime Minister support the Minister of ACC accessing the survivors' personal files and releasing their private personal details to the media? The Honourable Jerry Brown. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, this is once again a highly hypothetical question. And the, minister can go, the member can go on all afternoon trying to put forward these alarming situations in a hypothetical sense. They cannot and will not be answered. Supplementary. Uh, to Dr Russell Norman. Are there any circumstances in which it is acceptable for a Minister of the Crown to go to the government files and access the personal private details of a member of the public and release those details without consent in order to make political gain? The Honourable Jerry Browning. Uh, Mr Speaker, um, I have to say once again he is asking for a, uh, the answer to a question that poses hypothetically situations. What I can say is that when it comes to people like 
Stuart Murray Wilson, the public expect those details to be in the domain. Therefore, it's a very difficult question to answer specifically. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order, Dr. Russell Moore. Mr. Speaker, I ask for basically a policy guidelines. When it would, what is the policy for guiding ministers, the Prime Minister's policy for guiding ministers on releasing this information? Order that the. the uh, the, the, the member actually asked whether, there were, if I recollect correctly, whether there were any circumstances under, under, <coughs> under which such information might be accessed and released. And in answering it appeared the minister indicated that perhaps there might be some, depending on the circumstances, seemed to be the answer the minister gave because he seemed to cite a situation where that might be a desirable a desirable thing to do. Now, that's totally the Minister's right to answer how he sees fit, but that was certainly an answer. He indicated that there may be some circumstances. Dr. Russell Norman, supplementary. supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Does the Prime Minister accept that having a government that releases the private information of people who oppose government policy, information that is only available to the state, that that approach is an approach that silences dissent, chills dissent in a democratic society, and is not acceptable in a democratic and free country. The Honourable Jerry Brown. Well, uh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of the Prime Minister, quite clearly by the long list of examples the member has given this afternoon, that is not the case. Question number six, Chris Ochenfall. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the minister.